What do we have next? Ooh, I got a good one here. Got a good one. Okay, A squared times B times C. Okay, divided by A times B times C over 13 X times Y times Z squared. Whoa. What do we do? Well, let's rewrite A squared times B times C. Let's turn this to multiplication. What do we do with this guy? We flip it. So this becomes 13X y z squared over a times b times c all right now we just multiply a squared times b times c times the numerator and that's going to just end up becoming a squared b c 13 times x times y times z squared all over. I'm going to write it right up underneath here. See that? Okay, we should write an equal sign. It is equal to the previous one. So we have two a's in the numerator, one in the denominator. So that one in the denominator is going to cancel out. Right, I have to reduce down. B in the numerator, B in the denominator, so they cancel out. C over C, they cancel out. And we're left with 13XYZ squared. Man, that's kind of kind of long, isn't it? 13AXYZ squared. Of course, this 13 here, we'd always write that out front. Okay, always write that out front. All right, if we've got integer coefficients or real numbers of any kind. You just always write them out front. All right, we got time for another one. What time is it? Two? Oh yeah, we got plenty. Question is, do we have plenty of room? This one here is going to be kind of long. Whew! I think we better. I think what we better do on this one is, is just clear the clear the template. Start over. Five. I'm actually going to try to work this one a little bit faster. Over seven. A cubed. B to the fourth. Divided by. X. Cubed. Y squared. Over. Fourteen. A squared B squared oh my gosh we're not done times 3x squared Y so what you ought to try to do here is just pause the video and simplify this thing out and then come back okay all right so what I'm gonna do is let's go ahead and write equal sign I'm gonna end up rewriting everything except when we get to this one so we're going to change that to multiplication flip the fraction so it becomes 14 a squared b over x cubed y squared okay times 3x squared y over z all right, they're all multiplied together. Well, let's try to do some stuff here. We got a 7 in the denominator, 14 here, so we can rewrite that. And that'll be a 2. Um, what else can we do? I guess what we'll do now is just rewrite. We'll rewrite it. Okay, well, we have a 5 and a 3, so let's go ahead and multiply them together, bring it out front, so that makes that a 15. 
we have, I guess I should use a different color. We have an X and an X squared. So when we multiply them together, remember we add their exponents. Okay, we add their exponents, so that becomes X to the third power. Let's go ahead and just kind of do this so we know where we are, what's left, and all that. We have a y squared and a y, so that's going to become y to the third power. And we have an a squared and a b. a squared and a b. Okay. Now, let's take a look at the denominator here. Um, we have an a cubed. Let's go ahead and write that. Let's go ahead and just write it right up underneath this other a. We have a b to the fourth. We'll write it up underneath here. We have an x cubed. We have a y squared. What else do we have? We have a z. Let's just put it right here. How's that? We'll put that z right there. All right. Now, what do we got? Rewrite the 15. We have an x cubed over x cubed. So those x cubes are going to cancel out. We have a y cubed in the numerator, a y squared in the denominator, so that y cubed will reduce down just to y. Okay, and a squared over a cubed, uh, all right, won't do anything there, and b over b to the fourth. So looks like the numerator really reduced down quite a bit. Let's look down here at the denominator. We'll rewrite the z here. So that x cubed canceled out, y squared's gone. Uh, we have an a squared in the numerator, a cubed in the denominator, so that reduces down by one. A b in the numerator, b to the fourth. That was b to the fourth, right? Um, yes. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. We had... Ah. See that right there? That can get you. Didn't carry that. Should be B squared there. Yep. Got to be careful. All right. Two Bs in the numerator, four in the denominator. So that reduces down to... Just two B's in the denominator. Yes. Z, let's see, Z times A times B squared. And something else is not right. Let's take a look. I want to take a look at something here. Something, let's see. The 7 and the 14 went to 2. Um, ah, so that should have been, let's, five times two times three, which is 30. Well, I'm telling you what now. All right, let's, re let's change that. So you probably saw that and was screaming. I normally check my work, but okay. There we go. 30Y. Ooh, nine minutes already. Gotta be joking. Nobody's joking. Okay, I'll see you in the next problem.